Hey guys, Silcat2 here. Welcome back for more Mega Man Battle Network 2. In the last episode, we got to this area, and I freaked out because I did not have any unlockers. Well... Now I do. So let's use the unlocker, and we get army data. <coughs> this we can do stuff. But... There's more stuff we can do here in World 3 area, and I want to show it off. For example, there is the Scuttler virus here, which, as you might remember from Mega Man Battle Network 1, is a miniature copy of the life virus. We are going to take it out very easily. And we get the Life Aura 1 Eye. Very nice. Mega Man showed his S license. Not much down there right now. But each area of the World 3 area has a boss. And we are going to have to fight that boss if we want to get past World 3 Area 1. Right now, though, we are going to uh, take on these protectors and fail at blocking their attacks. Don't you just love fast gauge? Ah, here we go. Time bomb three. Of course that failed. Um, good thing we have this. Because otherwise we'd be screwed. Yeah, you can see how powerful Ultra Bomb is. <laughs> 3,000 Zangs. Not too bad. This cube cannot be opened up without a double S license. You are a strong come forward. The door's opening! Who are you who have disturbed my slumber? Who's there? I am Pharaoh Man, protector of this land. You have trespassed and devi defiled this sacred place, and you will pay with your lives. Mega Man, ready? Bow routine set. Execute. Meet Pharaoh Man! He is kind of a pushover as long as we have Gator. <laughs> Um, fail. <laughs> I'm so stupid. <laughs> what am I doing combining them in the wrong order? I'm so stupid. Anyway, yeah, let's take him out. As you can see, not very strong at all. Lasered. I got lasered. He is going to set a pharaoh trap for us. All that does is put a button there and it causes stuff to fall on us when we step on it. I am Pharaoh Man, protector of this land. Even should I die, my spirit will serve in my place. Ugh. Ah, it was tough. Hope there's no more like him further on. What is this place anyway? World 3 Area 2. Here we have a complicated maze of arrow panels and more really tough enemies. Sort of. More sort of tough enemies, I guess. I don't know. He's 
these guys have the same attacks they did in Battle Network 1, so it's not really that big of a deal. But they are kind of tough, so watch out. Protecto 2s. This is what we wanted Ultra Bomb for. And for that, we get Old Wood. What does Old Wood do? I forget. Summons Old Wood. Oh, that doesn't help at all. <clears throat> eh, whatever. It's a chip. We keep it. You know? Rotten 1 asterisk. Not bad at all. Ratty threes, this is bad. <laughs> Oop. No, oh, stupid. Red 3 0. Not too bad. Full energy. Sweet. Over here we get this cube cannot be opened without a double S license. So it doesn't look like we're going any farther because the boss gate is past there. But we can do stuff over here. It's a virus in disguise. I'm going to kill your candle because it is fun. I think sure is tough. That is all we can do in this area. So, what now, you might ask? Now, we are going to get ambushed again by viruses that we have no hope of defeating. The that stupid thing, the blue thing. So we are just going to run. I really need to rethink my folder. <laughs> um, I'm going to go look in Undernet Square for a second. Be right back. Okay, they didn't have the chip I was looking for, but they have these two HP memories that we never bought. We now have 920 HP, only four HP memories left to find in the entire game. Awesome. Also, now we've beaten the game, these boards have new stuff on them. That blue navy took out gospel. Okay, just kidding, but I dreamed that happened. If you're gonna post jokes like that, at least don't make them so obvious. Are you sure that was just a dream? That center navy proto man is a sword specialist. If you combine sword chips that require a refined technique with that guy, you'll activate that. 
We've already seen that. Girl navities. Uh, <laughs> girl navies have the ability to heal. Combine a maximum healing of a holy light with a girl navy and you'll activate that. We do not have the chips for that, but we'll keep that in mind for later. Hey, what's up with that under at 4? Something fishy. Yeah, there's a freaky door you need star ID to get th or something to get through. What's up with that door? Great. War. Space. Then he will appear. Then the truly powerful one will take all. That's a little freaky. Secret info board. I get no response for a nice navy in Coda Square recently. Do you think someone deleted it? Nah, that navy would have been a pretty tough fighting for me. Does anyone know what happened to it? What, you mean that ice? Boop! That guy was never up to any good. I hope he was deleted. Yeah, looks like that navy really was deleted after all. I saw that ice navy's ghost in Undernet 7. But forget about the navy. That gospel organization in Coda Square was totally wiped out. And get this, a single navy did it. What a fighter! One little navy did in all of gospel? <laughs> Only navy I know that could do that sort of thing is the dark assassin navy Shadow Man. But Shadow Man disappeared on a job for gospel and is still missing, or so I hear. So who did it? You know, a blue navy from the regular net has been seen going in and out of Kotobuki. Didn't they say that the navy that defeated World 3 was blue? Nah, no way a navy could, from a regular net could do that, but with Gospel gone, I gotta say, the Undernet's a nicer place. Gospel, that was one bad news organization. First we saw strange navvies in Undernet 4, then they started talking about some revival project to restore life or whatever. I have a bad feeling about the whole mess. <laughs> you guys scare too easily. If there's someone you want gone, give me a hundred thousand zenny. Gospel and I, I'll do him with a busting level of S. Ha 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 ha! Watch what you say, you're gonna ruin the Undernet's rep. I bet you're a punk that likes to throw around the regular Undernet spreading viruses all over, unless you want to wander in as a ghost never post here again. Anyone know where Handy 1, 2, and 3 hang out? I kinda need some data they got. Heh, <laughs> I can imagine why. The Handy virus has data that causes advances. This is good info, I'll check it out right away. I'll look for Handies myself. This guy I know makes his own viruses. He developed a virus that eliminates all intruders. It instantly heals any damage to full health. It can't be deleted unless all HP is taken out in one hit. Not only that, even if you delete it, it's pals will revive it. Insane, isn't it? He sold lots of them to some organization and made a fortune, lucky dog. I checked out the square. It was boring, just a bunch of peace-loving geeks. Well, famous Navi's, uh, famous Navi Gateman did have a different aura. I did challenge him, but he blocked all my attacks with a huge gate, and I could tell he wasn't even trying hard. Mr. Famous, eh? I took him on when I used to live in a regular net. He smacked me down with a major advance. I think you combine Gateman with a chip that blows wind. Why'd you say there's an advanced news as a navvy? You better post more details, punk. Ah, shut up. You find it yourself. Hey, I want to know more about the advanced navvy using advanced too. Kramer, you better post some more solid info. How about we trade info? I'll tell you about the advanced Shadow Man's operator Dark told me about a long time ago. How about that? Shadow Man's advanced? That'd be great. Okay, let's trade. The chip Mr. Famous combines with Gateman is the one in that virus that blows and sucks in wind and never attacks. You know what I'm talking about? I see, and he combines that with Gate that and that with Gateman. <laughs> okay, I'll give you Shadow Man's advance in for the combo is I don't know, but don't be angry, I do have an idea. The effect of that advance is that Shadow Man hides somewhere above the roof and fires a volley of shurikens. Think of likely chip combinations and you may figure it out. There's a drop-down chip. Virus like a red bagworm has it. Not only is it extremely rare, it won't give up the chip unless you get a really high busting level. It's even rare in the internet now. If it's a blue bagworm you need, you can still find them in the internet. The other day I was walking along and one appeared out of nowhere. There's lots of grass growing. This is secret info. Some chips have power-ups you can activate by quickly entering a command with the A button still down. Sometimes that increases the chip's power. Those chips take quick fingers on the operator's part, so I guess that weak chip I have that only looks powerful may be strong after all. Hey, the other day I saw a hooded black navvy. Who is that? Toughest looking navvy I've seen in the Undernet ever. I saw it too. It was in Undernet 4. It was like it was in some kind of warp hole. If you guys value your lives, stay away from that hooded navvy. There's no human being operating that navvy. Dangerous business. I shot that hooded navvy with a high cannon, then it bounced off this kind of an aura and he wasn't even scratched. That was the most powerful weapon in my folder, and he didn't even blink. I still can't believe it. I think it's time for you to rethink your folder. I'm amazed you even made it back alive. Quite a feat. Wasn't that gospel incident about them making a supernavy? Maybe it has something to do with that hooded guy. Make a supernavy. 
I heard they did an experiment where he merged bugs, but they failed in that one. Pretty sad if you ask me, actually. Program born only to be used. Well, we're programs too, after all. Doomed to live our whole lives obeying human commands. Not much difference between us and that multi-bug organism. Hmm. Interesting stuff. But we're running out of time. Didn't make very much progress other than uh, taking that taking out Pharaoh Man, but in the next episode, we're going to be working on the double S license test so we can pass that security cube in World 3 Area 2. Until then, see you later!